Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be trying to solve this question, which is on chain rule differentiation. So the question says, says if x is equal to a into bracket 1 plus sine theta and y equal to a into bracket 1 minus cos theta, find the y over dx or the y over dx is equal to what? That's the question. So let's get this done. So first things first, let's recall what x is. So the question said x is equal to what x there? It said x is equal to a into 1 plus sine theta. Right. So in this case here, of course, a here is a constant. That means in this case, I am differentiating x with respect to theta. And that becomes dx over d theta. But before then, what we'll do is this. The question now will be, which method of differentiation do I use here? If I look at this, a is multiplying 1 plus sine theta. Hence, it becomes a product rule differentiation. Okay? So it becomes product rule. Now, I recall that for product rule, we said dy over dx, if you can recall this, is equal to v du over dx plus u dv over dx. So we have this. So if this is the case, how do we get the x over the theta? Now, here's what to do. For this case here, I will call this one here as u. So I will say, let u be equal to a. Now, don't forget that I am differentiating x with respect to theta. That means what I'll do here is that I'll get du all over d theta. Now, if I look at this, this is a constant. There's no theta here. And we said, when I differentiate a constant, I get what there? Zero. So I have this. Also, v is equal to what I have in brackets here, which is 1 plus sine theta. So I have v as 1 plus sine theta. Let's get the v over d theta. We'll have that the v all over d theta is equal to, first things first, if I differentiate 1, I'll have 0. This is a constant. If I differentiate sine theta with respect to theta, it gives you cosine theta. So I have this case here. So hence, I will have that dx all over d theta is equal to, we said v du all over d theta plus u dv all over d theta. So we have this, all right? So proceeding with this, this is equal to, what's v? v is 1 plus sine theta. This is v. Next up, du over d theta, which you can see here, it's 0. That gives you 0 plus u. What's u? If I look at this, u is equal to a. That's plus u, that's a, into dv over the theta. Dv the theta here, as you can see here, is cos theta. So that becomes a cosine of theta. All right. Moving forward, this is equal to, so I'll have that dx all over d theta is equal to 1 plus sine x multiplying 0. Of course, anything times 0 is 0. That becomes 0 plus a times cos theta gives you a cosine of theta. Hence, my answer here is a cosine theta. All right. So keep this pending. So far, so good. I've gotten the value of the x over the theta. My next tax now is that I'll go back to y. So I'm done with the x here. Let's move over to y. So let's find y. First things first, let's list out what is y exactly. Now, y, as we are given, is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. All right. A is 1 minus cos theta, as you can see here. All right, so our tax here will also be to find the value of dy over d theta, such that we'll have that. Um, okay, for this, first things first, we are using product rule here again, because this one here, A, is multiplying this one, 1 minus cos theta. And we said whenever you have two terms multiplying, we'll use product rule. Hence, in this case, we'll have that let you, uh, let you, be equal to the first term, which is a. 
if I differentiate u with respect to theta, du over theta is equal to a is a constant, right? There's no theta here, so it gives you what there? Zero. Also, v is equal to one minus cosine of theta, and that's equal to okay. So let's get dv the theta. Um, let's get dv the theta. We'll have that dv all over the theta is equal to first things first. If I differentiate one, it's a constant, it gives you zero minus if i differentiate cos theta it gives you what there minus sine theta so we have this now by the way we've already treated this concept of um this is called trigonometric differentiation all right we've already treated it in our previous classes all right i'll leave a link to the video on trigonometric differentiation in the description of this video all right so you can check the description of this video you'll see a link to the class on trigonometric differentiation okay so proceeding from here we'll now have that dy we'll now have that dy all over the theta is equal to v du over the theta plus u dv all over the theta now putting values this is equal to v what's v v is one v is 1 minus cos theta into du the theta from here du the theta is equal to 0 so into 0 plus u what's u um u is this you can see use a so plus a that's u into dv the theta dv the theta if i look at this okay let's complete this so this will be equal to this is 0 minus minus gives you plus sine theta and that's equal to zero plus sine theta gives you sine theta all right so it means that dv the theta is equal to sine theta so this into sine theta so we have this all right so proceeding this is equal to so one minus cos theta multiplied zero gives you zero plus a times sine theta gives you a sine theta so from here it means that dy all over the theta is equal to zero plus a sine theta gives you a sine theta so i have this all right so so far so good we've gotten the value of dx over the theta as a cos theta and then dy over the theta as a sine theta but in the question we ask to find the value of dy over dx. So how do we get this? Now, this is a concept we use here. We use a concept of chain rule here. Where we say that dy all over dx is equal to, already I have dy over the theta. This man will now multiply the theta all over dx. So from here, the concept is that the theta will cancel the theta and I'm left with dy over dx, as you can see here. But then, I have a value for dx over the theta. I have this value. I don't have the theta over dx. So, let's go back and check. What's the value of dx the theta? If I go back to check this, I will see that um, dx the theta is equal to a cos theta. Okay? So this is equal to a cos theta. That's a cosine of theta this value of the x theta now if i want to get we know that from basic mathematics that this is same thing as saying this all over one they're the same thing so hence if i want to get the theta all over the x all i have to do is to invert this it becomes one all over a cosine theta right just invert this right this one goes to the numerator this one comes down so it becomes the theta over dx also this one goes to the numerator and this one comes down so it becomes one all over a cos theta hence from here we can now have that dy over dx which we said is equal to dy over the theta multiplying the theta over dx let's put in values this is equal to what's the value of dy over the theta again let's check this 
we had that dy d theta is equal to a sine theta. So that's equal to a sine theta multiplying d theta dx, as you can see here, is equal to here 1 all over a cos theta. So multiplying 1 all over a cosine theta. All right, so this is now equal to, this is now equal to, this gives you a sine theta times 1, that's a sine theta, all over the denominator a cosine theta. So first things first here, a will cancel a. I now have that dy over dx, dy all over dx is equal to sine theta all over cosine theta. But then again, I know that, but I know that, but I know that this function sine theta all over cosine theta is equal to tan theta. All right, this is a trigonometric function. So hence, we can see that dy over dx is equal to sine theta over cos theta, and that's equal to tan theta. Hence, our answer is that, hence, our answer is that, um, let me rule this. All right, so I, hence, the answer is that dy all over dx is equal to tan theta. So this is the answer. Please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video, all right? Also, if it's your first time, subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment, all right? Tell us if you enjoyed this video. Also, suggest other examples that you want us to solve. Then finally, if finally, please share this to your friends so that they can also learn. Don't forget to visit my website to get my books and courses, all right? Simply visit www.jonaimmanuel.com dot com right then you can see either your books or dot com and then check the book or the courses section to get any of my books or courses thank you and see you in the next class